Stop feeding the life that you don't want to live. We're in a world right now where so many people are struggling mentally. And if we just take out abuse and trauma just for a moment, and let's base this on the society that we're living in, with social media being at the forefront of everything that we do, there are many people who are depressed, anxious, and regretful about where they are in life and the choices that they have made. And social media has really made this a big thing. And there are people getting to all different ages in their 30s and 40s and looking back and thinking, could I have done more? Should I have done more? And is it too late for me? And a lot of people do believe that it's too late, which is why they start hitting midlife crisis and start dwelling on the past and stuff like that. And my advice in this video is that you can change your life at any given moment that you choose to. And in 12 months, which you commit to yourself, you can live just a life of purpose and fulfillment. That's what I believe anyway, if you're willing to commit to it. But the thing what social media has done, and it's really sort of messed people up, is it's portrayed a life of perfection. And then people have fallen into this incredibly bad habit of doom scrolling. And this is one of the most toxic, negative, destructive, dark side of social media to where they believe everything that they see. Now, consumption over creation is the fine line between someone who is successful and someone who is distracted. And if you find yourself scrolling, you're going to be looking at people that you are starting to compare yourself to. If you linger on a post, the algorithm picks up on that's what you are consuming. So it's going to send you more of that stuff. And ultimately, if you're quite weak mentally, and I don't mean that in a rude way, but if you're not very strong in your mindset or you don't have a strong mindset or low self-esteem, low confidence, you're going to be affected far more than someone like myself. Like I don't consume, I'm not worried about what anyone else is doing. I don't focus on anyone else. I literally just do my own thing. And if you watch other people's lives, you fall into comparison. And what happens, two, two really bad things happen. You start thinking that you're failing in life. Again, attacking your mental sort of, your mindset. And uh, number two, the, the second part of that is you waste time. And then what happens, there's a little third part of that. When you're conscious that you've spent one, two, three hours, you spiral into depression or procrastination and feeling overwhelmed because you realize you've spent three, four hours doom scrolling, watching other people. So how can you overcome that? Well, number one, you really have to look at your patterns and habits. So those who typically speak to me about Aaron, I procrastinate, I'm overwhelmed, I never take action, I'm not making the most of my life, I'll typically ask them to do like a bit of a time evaluation of how they spend their entire day. And it's very common that people wake up in the morning after a night of watching Netflix and their eyes are dry because they've been watching cats jump off of roofs and you know people break their legs on videos and all that kind of stuff. And then they fall asleep, their eyes are baggy and getting heavy, and then they wake up and they stimulate themselves with coffee. And again, they're back on the phone, straight on the phone, looking at Instagram, people in Dubai, you know, balconies, sunset, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and then they're thinking, God, I wish my life was like that. Why couldn't my parents have been rich? Or why couldn't have I built a business? And it's all kind of, it's very negative consumption. And then they go to a job that they don't typically like. So that makes them more mentally depressed or anxious or apprehensive, you know, whatever it might be. And there's this really vicious cycle doom scrolling whilst at work. You, you know these people, I know them, I've seen them, you know, they're walking around on their phone. And what happens is some people fall into envy and jealousy about why don't I have that? And you know, life's not that easy, I can't obtain that. When the truth is really, if you stop watching and start creating and start doing and start getting focused, everything you desire, money, freedom, happiness, you know, in all areas of your life, personally, professionally, and financially, can all be possible if you were to actually focus on yourself and start, stop looking at the external world and what's going on and just actually get in your own productivity bubble. So they go to work and then they come home, 
eat some rubbish food, they don't go to the gym, a lot of people, they're kind of overweight and food and fluids, like really bad food and fluids has a really negative impact on your mental health. You should all know that, like, you know, the serotonin, the, the release of um, endorphins and dopamine are all played off against the types of food and the exercise that you're getting. All these kind of things come into it. They don't realize it, this is all subconscious. And they go home, they're stressed about money because they're not living a life that they want because they're fueling another one that they don't want and come home slouch sit down on the sofa and then they're watching Netflix and the reason why they're unhappy and they've hit a midlife crisis is all in front of them but they're not addressing it so what I would say to everyone is that start start getting more proactive start working out key thing start getting around people who have the right mindset because what happens if you've been around co-workers that are very negative they talk about the news they haven't really got any ambitions and if you stay around people that are quite happy to be stagnant and they're not really happy to go anywhere in life and they're just a plodder you'll fall into that mindset of just well you know just do the same thing every day but you carry on watching everyone else and we really are in a world that's incredibly depressed. I mean, my, my best advice as well that I can give all of you is don't watch the news. I mean, I find it odd and bizarre how people still buy papers and turn on the news and the radio. Like, I'm driving in the car now. I, haven't, I have no sound when I'm driving. I like to be in my own thoughts and planning. And I've just come away from my friend Jason Greystone, we've been masterminding all day about business and all my new sort of projects that I've got going on and the collaboration between Jason and I. So it's all very positive, ambitious, driven sort of conversations. I'd, I'd never listen to the news. There's, no, there's nothing good. Nothing is ever good on the news. So imagine these people that constantly fuel themselves with death and crime and gangs and you know that the breakdown of England and how it's you know gone to rubbish and everyone's leaving the country and there's war and there's crime and there's immigration and and we wonder why most people are suffering with mental health I think also we've never seen so many divorces I think personally in relationships people are very unhappy because you look on social media there's this image of perfection and you think that there's more to be had and you start exploring it and then you fall off the rails in your own life. I would say one of the things that is quite common which comes across my table is people who have been incredibly bad with money, keeping up with the Joneses for so long that they've fallen into debt and they don't know what to do so they take out more debt, that makes them depressed. They're in a job that they hate and that they can't stand, but they need their income. That's the, uh, that's the real worry, that they need their income, right? This is the reason why so many of us, uh, not myself, but so many people are suffering with mental health issues. Because you're consuming, you are becoming obsessed with what everyone else is doing. So if you can relate, let me know in the comments. I know this was just a bit of a general chit chat, but I felt like I wanted to get it off my chest. A lot of the answers are in front of you. And again, there are two types of people in the world. Successful, however you see success. Um, and then very simply, there's distracted. There's no in between, that's it. Successful, distracted, done, period. Two types of people, what one are you? 100% um, I'm on the success side. I'd never have it any other way. I'm not bothered what the world is up to. It does not affect me in the slightest. It actually annoys me when people say, and they have done, by the way, well, you need to know what's going on in the news. I, I don't believe you, Aaron. You must watch what's in the news at times. No, because I, I don't care. I do not consume. I have no idea what people are doing on social media. I have no idea what's going on in the news. I have no idea about what's happening in the Houses of Parliament. And I don't care. I honestly couldn't give a monkeys. That's the God's honest truth. So yes, we're definitely in a world where people are suffering mentally, but I would say a lot of it is very much self-inflicted. Again, taking out trauma and abuse, right? 
Anyway, until next time, please do like and subscribe. This was another car video where I just talk about what's on my mind. Until next time, peace.